Welcome back to another hunt with uh, Dirt Fishing Dave. Just um, gonna go for a bit of a walk to an old unused railway platform. And uh, it was uh, used in the late 1800s. Now it's not used, so I think it's been out of action for about 60 years or something. But we'll go check it out, see what we can find. I um, brought the Equinox, same as I always use. Just had a bit of a chat with a local, so I'm not going to hang around here too long. They don't seem to like visitors around here, but he knows what I'm up to, so that's all good. All right, let's get cracking. All right, guys, I'm at the uh, the old station master's hut here. Um, I haven't fired up yet, but we'll have a bit of a go around here and on the old platform and see what we can get. And then we might leave and hit a few parks, see what we can get as well. Okay guys, first target, it's actually just a rusty old railway pin, been there a while but, okay guys, nothing there, there's a bit of a let down that spell site, I'm just going to detect the uh, road back to the car, because I've got a few targets here and there, nothing good unfortunately, and um, we might move on to somewhere else. This place is actually a bit creepy, so we just found out off the uh, local that a few people have killed themselves around here. And so this place kind of gives me the creeps. But anyway, see, my detector's doing lots of weird false signals. So we'll move on, I think. Hey guys, I didn't bring the GoPro with me. Um, I'm just here at, a, at an oval. And um, first coin of the day, looks like a penny. I have to clean it up and give it a a clean. It looks like it might be a rue penny actually. Oh no, no. I recognise the king. I think it's a commie. It's a Commonwealth penny. So we might better get a date off it. Oh my eyes aren't they good? I think it's. Can you see that? I can't see it. Looks like 1910, but it can't be right. All right, beautiful. First coin of the day. Okay, guys, um, I'm not getting a lot at this park, but um, I found my first brown bugger. Look at that. Yep, two cents. Good sign that this park hasn't been hit properly anyway. Um, good trick with parks, especially ones you know they've been hit, is go around the edges. And if you punt in the afternoon like I am, you'll see where the shade of the trees is. And if you, see, so you can probably see over there. If you hunt where the shade of the trees is, you'll uh, find more coins there because, you know, especially in old sporting ovals that have been around for, you know, over 100 years, people used to sit in the shade on, on the hot summer days and watch cricket or football or whatever was being played. So those are good areas to uh, start. And that's what I did. I started one tree just down there and found the penny that I found before. Right, first and last brown bugger for the day anyway. Okay guys, just found this uh, interesting thing. Rang up 31 on the Equinox, solid. Don't know what it is. Wasn't too deep, so I don't think it's that old. But it uh, has an interesting pattern on it. If you know what it is, leave a comment below. Right guys, um, I moved on to another oval. Uh, there's the car over there. Make it too much away, but first goldie for the day, finally. Finally on the goldies. I'm going to stay here for a while. Probably another hour before I go home. All right, there we go. Guys, now $3 on the board. Just dug another dollar. Hey guys, I've got a signal here, 22. I'm gonna try and live dig it. Don't know what it is. Ah, always as usual, it's a bottle cap. Oh, it's got a hole in it, look at that. I wonder it rang up like a goldie. Hey guys, just got another uh, signal, 21. Another dollar, wasn't very deep. Maybe an inch down. Let's keep going. Okay guys, another goldie. Another two bucks down in this hole. Hey guys, this soil is giving me some really weird signals, but I've got a... I think it's a goldie. Yep, another two bucks. Look at that. That was probably three or four inches down. So the old coins that are normally here are going to be very deep. Probably a foot down. I'll be lucky if I get them. But um, yeah, doing alright on the goldies. Okay guys, this dug uh, 
the bottom of what's it's obviously a toy car probably a more modern one given there's not much corrosion on it yeah unusual thing to find out here in the middle of an oval okay guys out of this hole i've just dug this guy see if we can get a date off him 1927 got a few of these actually must be a common date i've never looked up the vintage but i'm guessing it's a common date it wasn't very deep down either considering i know for a fact that uh this uh area has been topsoiled and regrassed this last year so yeah gonna go around here again okay guys just pulled another two bucks this thing was ringing up crazy high 31 i don't know what's going on i think it's just soil the soil is very uh a lot of iron content in the soil it's making the detector go crazy i've tried a few different modes for the uh equinox field two field one i've tried them all but uh yeah i think it's just the soil tried playing around with some settings f2 settings but anyway you know when you get a nice high signal it's going to be something good anyway hey guys i went over my hole again there's the original hole there and right next to it there was a dollar so we're still ringing up crazy high i don't know why three dollars in the one hole well almost the one hole all right all right guys it's uh pack up time um yeah didn't do too good today got a few good things so um we'll pack the knocks up we might go on another hunt in a couple of days all right I'll see you at the wrap up okay guys it's the next day and uh we're at the wrap up um i'll give you a quick rundown of uh of what we've got first i'll just do an update on this uh button i found last week at the, at the big park it's a um royal regiment of the foot officers button and it's got a little bit of gold gilt on there that you can see it in the camera there you go and um probably late 1800s that button pretty happy with that cleaned it up it was a bit of a mess but i've cleaned it up just got a line on it and the, and the uh the crown at the top there right yeah pretty happy with that um anyway finds from yes from this video's hunt this thing which i still have no idea what it is but it's very ornamental that's the uh trash some of it anyway what's left of it got the thingy bobs uh, the bottom of the car brown buggers um three one dollar coins uh four two dollar coins and a couple of pennies we've got a 1927 and i think this one's a 1911 hard to say it's pretty toasted but that's that's all we got I only went for an afternoon hunt i'm very dry the ground at the moment uh, this area and the area I hunted yesterday now all uh, covered in smoke from the uh, bushfires that are ravaging Australia at the moment. So I'm going to try and get out for a hunt tomorrow, probably on the coast somewhere. And um, that's it for now. Nothing else to say. Stay safe, uh, people, if you're in Australia. Stay extra safe. Stay away from the fire zones. Stay away from the highways. And um, enjoy your holidays if you're on holidays. All right, don't forget to like subscribe and share this video. Okay guys, thanks for watching.